What is up guys, my name is Ignas, welcome back to the channel. So several weeks back I made a video where I shared several lessons that we can learn from the legendary investor Warren Buffett. He is one of the wealthiest men in the world and at 92 years old is still the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, an investment company that is currently managing over 300 billion US dollars. So we are definitely able to get his insights on investing, but what I would like to do is also learn by example. So what are the largest positions that Warren Buffett is currently holding? Today we'll check into the 5 largest Berkshire Hathaway's names and find out how much of a dividend opportunity there is if we would be trying to get into the stock right now at the current dividend yield. An early thumbs up would be very much appreciated and with that out of the way, let's begin. So the largest name in the portfolio is Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. They are currently holding almost 895 million shares. The position takes up 40.76% of the portfolio and is valued at over $122 billion. So to check into the dividend opportunity, we'll use my dividend stock watch list on Google Sheets. So we are now in the tab for Apple and this is here its dividend yield history for each quarter of the last 5 years. Out of this information we calculate that on average in 5 years the stock was trading at a dividend yield of exactly 1%. So back in 2018 we saw the dividend yield at 1.6%, which is 60.46% over the 5 year average. Then in 2019 it increased to 1.7%, 70.49% over average. In 2020 it dropped to the average at 0.96%, down below for 3.72%. And after that it continued to get worse. In 2021 we saw the yield at 0.61%, under average for 48.83% and the worst one was in the beginning of 2022 at 0.51%, almost half of the 5 year average at minus 48.85%. Now this year the price has been moving lower a bit, so the dividend yield was pushing from the bottom higher to 0.67%, but that is still way under the 5 year average minus 42.81%. So this is what we are receiving if we plan to get into the stock right now, and I would much rather prefer if the dividend yield would be just a bit over that 5 year average. Now if you would be interested in doing a similar analysis on another dividend paying stock yourself, you are able to access this watchlist by following the second link at the top of the description. Otherwise feel free to add a ticker symbol in a comment below and I'll consider adding that into the watchlist myself. Maybe you could share some interesting opportunities available in the market that I'm still missing. Now the second largest pick in Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio is a large bank, Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC. They are holding just over 1 billion shares, the position takes up 10.48% of the portfolio and that is a value of 31.4 billion US dollars. So we are back in the watchlist and here is the tab for Bank of America. We have its dividend yield history of the last 5 years and here we calculate that on average the stock was trading at a dividend yield of 2.08%. So back in 2018 we saw the dividend yield at 1.39%, which is under the 5 year average for 43.14%. Then it was climbing higher in 2019 at 1.95%, still just a bit under average for 6.21%. In 2020 with the stock price moving lower, we saw the dividend yield going up to 2.55%, over average for 22.65%, but then in 2021 it dropped back lower to 1.96%, under average for 5.73%, and remained under until the beginning of 2022 with 1.89%, which was under average for 9.09%. But this year we saw quite a lot of selling, and now the dividend yield is coming closer to those 3% at 2.96%, which is way over the 5 year average, higher for 42.37%. So looking into the dividend yield for BC, we currently have a percentage that we haven't seen in the last 5 years, making it an interesting opportunity to get into the stock at these levels. Now the third name is a very well known staples, Coca-Cola, ticker symbol KO. They are holding exactly 400 million shares, it takes 8.38% of the portfolio, and this position is valued at 25.2 billion US dollars. So we are in the tab for Coca-Cola, we have its dividend yield history for each quarter of the last 5 years, and on average the stock was trading at a yield of 3.15%. Being such a solid name, it looks like the dividend yield hasn't been moving from the average much at all. 
In 2018, the stock was trading at a dividend yield of 3.38%, which is over average for 7.45%. Then in 2019, we had it at 3.39%, over average for 7.77%. 2020, 3.28%, higher than average for 4.27%. 2021, 324 over average for 3%. And it seems that 2022 was the worst year, where the dividend yield was under 3% the most at 2.87%, under the 5-year average for 8.76%. But with the most recent quarter in, the stock is trading at a dividend yield of 3.23%, so that is again backed over the 5-year average with 2.68%. So not that much of an opportunity right now, with just 3% over average, but that is still way better of what we have seen this year. Now for the fourth largest position, we have an oil stock Chevron, ticker symbol CVX. They are holding 161.4 million shares. The position takes 7.79% of the portfolio, and it is valued at 23.4 billion US dollars. Back to the watchlist, and this is the tab for Chevron. We have its dividend yield history for each quarter of the last five years. And on average, the stock was trading at a dividend yield of 4.25%. So back in 2018, it was at 3.82%, under average for 10.16%. Pretty much the same in 2019 at 3.8%, minus 10.63%. Then in 2020, it started going over average with 4.35%, higher for 2.31%. And in 2021, we still had it over 5% at 5.42, higher than average for 27.47%. But in the beginning of 2022, it started dropping to a yield of 3.98%, under average for 6.39%. And this continues pretty much for the whole year, where currently the dividend yield is at 3.6%, which is still way under the 5-year average, minus 15.33%. Now the fifth one is again a financial's name, American Express, ticker symbol AXP. They are holding 151.6 million shares, and it takes 7% of the portfolio, with the position being valued at 21 billion US dollars. So we are in the watch list, and here is the tab for American Express. We have its dividend yield history for the last 5 years, and on average the stock was trading at a yield of 1.38%. So in 2018, the yield was at 1.42%, under average for 4.08%. Then in 2019, it jumped to 1.58%, now over the average for 14.81%. 2020 down again to 1.3%, under average for 5.54%. In 2021, 1.41%, higher than average for 2.46%. And then we had the worst part in the beginning of 2022, with the dividend yield going under 1% to 0.99, which is under the 5-year average, minus 28.06%. But during the year, the dividend is climbing back up, and we now have it at 1.52%, which is again over the 5-year average for 10.45%. So after looking into 5 largest Buffett stocks, it seems that Bank of America is the one with the largest opportunity right now. Its dividend yield has been all over the place in the last 5 years, going to the lows of 1.39% back in 2018, but currently it is coming close to those 3%, which we haven't seen anywhere in this time period. So this could be an interesting play into an undervalued dividend position from the financial sector right now. And that was it, make sure to support the channel and leave a thumbs up under the video. Are you sharing any of these holdings with Warren Buffett? Share your largest positions in a comment below. If you would be interested in getting access to my dividend investing watchlist, then consider memberships. By becoming a member, you will get access to Discord, where I share all my Google Sheets documents and all the buys and sells exactly when I do them. This could be a great option to track my moves closely. Last week, I've looked into several companies, so if you are interested in any of these, then click on a video that is currently on the screen. And that was it from my side, thank you for watching and I will be seeing y'all in the next one.